Magaji Ibrahim has been shot dead. He was killed 24 hours after 38 people were murdered across Kaduna, including the local government area. One of the youth leaders in Rahia village, Ridawan Adulahi, told Daily Trust that over 70% of the people in the village have fled to safety communities in part of Sara and Kiwatan. It was gathered that the disease were killed when bandits invaded the community on Sunday. A resident, Shariu Idasu, said the victim was shot when he came out of his residence calling for help after the bandit invaded the community. He said he was shot by the bandit after they invaded Idasu community on Sunday night and stole motorcycles. The disease came out to call for help but was shot, he said. The disease, who was one of the elderly persons in the community, has been buried according to Islamic rites. The killing came after residents of Rahia village in the local government area were attacked by bandits on Saturday evening. Over 70% of our people flew to Giwatan and Sarah to stay with other family members because what happened on that day was terrible. Because 23 people were killed at Rahia alone, 21 at, of them were married men, only two persons were single, he said. He said there are four other persons that sustained injuries, saying such people and the orphans left behind need urgent assistance from the government. Daily Trust reported on Monday how the bandits attacked Karura, Fawa, Makri, and Rahia village in Darsu ward of Kiwa local government area. The State Commissioner, the Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Harouan, who confirmed the attack in a statement issued on Sunday, said 38 persons were murdered across the three villages attacked. The State Police Command Public Relations Officer ASP Jalingi Mohammed could not be reached to speak on the killing of the traditional ruler as calls to his phones were unanswered. Hmm. Yes, bandits and other terrorists are ransacking Kaduna State under the very nose of Erufai who was at the forefront of criticizing President Muhammad, uh, President uh, uh, Gulag Jonathan, who he accused of doing little or nothing to contain the insurgents, then operating mainly in the north, uh, northeast, like his president, he has thrown all his hands in surrender to the terrorists and prays for divine intervention. When are we going to end this? There is a saying in my place that they knew where they hide their pedals. Why stop all this delay, bloodshed? Are you telling Nigerians that the President Boko Haram bandits, kidnappers, and other ragtag terrorists are smarter, more powerful, and strategic than our military and other security forces? We are no more interested in commiserating with families of people that have lost their lives. You have lost your legacy in the hearts of Nigerians. So instead of all this all over the, the globe, sit down and plan some stable uh, strategic plans to defeat those terrorists. Your government knows those sponsoring them. You have the list, but it seems you and your cabars are shedding them if i know that you will be a president that is so uh, shallow i wouldn't have voted for you by you giving you giving your tribe all the important posts what are you doing is empowering them more to assist the terrorists i am totally utterly disappointed with your lack of visions and how to solve the merits of problems we as a country are facing. These are reactions by Nigerians and they are still talking.
the same bandits that are writing letters begging for forgiveness. This shows that any attempt to forgive these murderers, they will spare doom. It will spare doom for this country. I said it that they are pretending. They know what they are doing. That letter they are writing for forgiveness or dialogue or whatever. All those ones are just distractions. They want the military to stop the offensive here yeah, that is being uh, carried out against them. That is why they are writing all those things. They are afraid that the military will soon get to them. You understand? These people, they cannot stop. They will not stop. To just say they are going to lay down their hands. For how? How possible? Or whatever. He even promised that his only security, uh, security personnel in Nigeria will be allowed to hold, hand, uh, hold arms in Nigeria because they are going to lay down their arms. These people, they have their hearts at their back. And that is the reason why the government should not listen to their plead. These people have to face, you know, the, the, the law. They have done so many evil. We can't count many people these people have killed. They have displaced so many Nigerians, making life horrible for people. And we are begging the government to pardon you. And somebody will come and say, okay, give them amnesty. They have repented. Repented for what? These people, they have to face the dance they started. You understand? If actually this government is serious and they know what they are doing, no pardon. They should stop pardoning these bandits. They should stop pardoning them. They don't deserve it. That is it. They don't deserve it. Come to think of it. What are they even asking for? The government neglected them. The government did not send them to school. You get any person when government send go to school. You said carrying cow, the wrong enter bush on a uh, uh, culture. Which one are the vest say government not they do now way? Government did not send anybody to school. So these people, they are just terrorists. They have nothing to say. The reason why they are killing people. That is just what they want to do. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us thumbs up. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much for always stopping by. Bye for now.